All right. Grug on Agile. 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 Is it Agile or is it Agile? Agile is what I call it. Grug think Agile not terrible. Okay, get out of here, Grug. I hate you. Not good. Okay, Grug, you're not like horrible, but I still don't like you. End of day, not worst way to organize development. Maybe better than others, Grug suppose is fine. Danger, however, is Agile Shaman. Many, many shiny rock lost to Agile Shaman. M whatever Agile project fail, Agile Shaman say you didn't do Agile right. <laughs> Scotsman, Communism, and Agile, the only ones that are never truly who they're supposed to be. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Did I forget to turn off the alerts? Damn it! I've been on such an amazing streak! And now I have forgotten. Dang it! I had it! Alright, the sport, I mean, Scotsmen really are the sad one because they should have been born a Scotsman, but they never quite were true Scotsmen. Alright, Grug note this awfully convenient for Agile Shaman. Ask more shiny rock, better Agile train young Grugs on Agile danger. Yeah. Yeah. This is, you know, when I was working at my, my, my second company I was working at called Workiva, known back then as Web Filings, I kid you not, we had like, and the guy who I think wrote Inspire, uh, super agile people come in. They're just all about it. We had training sessions. And I kid you not, we developed more process. We developed more process than features in the product. It was incredible. By the end of like the six months I was there, my meetings went up sixfold. The amount of work I was doing went down like sixfold. It was incredible. What a good agile shaman can do to a company incredible i hated planning poker i thought we we're gonna do something fun instead i i like it's it's the exact same thing with like uh like ch chickpea noodles cauliflower rice uh vegan bread or whatever it is uh gluten-free bread no i stop just i associate something good playing poker with people i like but it's mixed in with something i hate which is like gluten-free wheat, okay? It's just, I hate that. I just, I just hate that combo, okay? I hate that combo. Vegan bread, yeah. Vegan bread, I probably wouldn't like that either. I need those eggs in there, baby. Um, Grug tempted to reach for club when too much agile talk happened, but always stay calm. This is true. Prototyping. Tools and hiring good Grugs. Better key to success software. Agile process, okay, and help some, but sometimes hurt, taken too seriously. Grug say no silver club. Fix all software problems, no matter what Agile Shaman say. Danger. This, I mean, this is a... This is really... I mean, it's, this is really good. This is really good talk. I will say one thing that I've really appreciated about Netflix, by the way, I don't know if you know this, but I work at Netflix, uh, is that there virtually is no rules or process, which means that we kind of always choose our own destiny in some sort of sense. And by choosing your own destiny, which can be very cumbersome, duplicate work happens... You favor communication among individuals over than like over corporate large alignment meetings. And for me, I'd rather talk to one person or two people or five people and align on a specific thing than do a whole like reoccurring meeting every week to discuss the same shit we've already know and everybody's already on the same thing and Streamberry doesn't need yet another meeting. Like I get that. And so it's just like, I, I just hate that. And so I'm just so happy I don't work in Agile anymore. Agile, I hate it. I've always hated Agile. I still will hate Agile. Every single time you say you hate Agile, the, the, the no true Agile Scotsman comes out and be like, well, you didn't do Agile right. That's your problem. Your problem is you didn't do it right. Oh, what went wrong there? Add a retro. Oh, your retros are too much? Take away retros. Oh, you don't like that planning poker. Oh, you weren't you weren't doing it right? Your estimations are bad. Oh, you're not estimating right? Well, did you do shirt sizes, small, medium, and large? What'd you do? What's the problem? You know what? No more planning poker. See, you're doing planning poker bad, right? It's just like, dude, I hate the whole process. Everything about Agile is just, it just sucks. I don't believe in a silver bullet. But I also believe in a poison pill, okay? But you're good at it. Good at what? Putting on shirts? You believe in Silver Club? I don't believe in Silver Club either. I don't believe in Silver Club. I don't. All right, let's do one more. Refactoring. Refactoring fine activity and often good idea, especially later in project when code firmed up. Again, 
feeling firm right now. However, Grug note that many times in career, refactors go horribly off rails and end up causing more harm than good. You know, I often find that refactors go worse depending on how much of your code relies or is shaped by a third party. And what I mean that by that is say something of the say leaky abstractions. Uh, React is a leaky abstraction, right? Because you just you you literally have to shape your code around React. Uh, RxJS leaky abstraction. One thing becomes an observable, everything becomes an observable, right? Like just observable all the way down eventually by the end. And so like the more dependent your code is shaped against the library, the harder I think it is to refactor because ultimately it always ends up being a rewrite, right? And that and for me, rewrites are just like, they rarely are the, the right answer. Rarely. Uh, Grug not sure exactly why some refactors work well, some fail, but Grug noticed that larger refactor more likely fail, failure appear to be. Agreed. So Grug try to keep refactors relatively small and not be too far from out from well, too far out from shore during refactory. Ideally, ideally system work entire time, each step of the finish before other begin. Love it. I actually really like the idea of trying to keep your refactor to the point where a PR is still intelligible. I know that's kind of hard. It requires extreme discipline, but I think it's pretty good. And then you commit that. You don't have to actually, like, I, you know, I, code reviews are great sometimes, right? The hard part about code reviews is that you also need the other person on the other side being knowledgeable in that area to code review. You know what I mean? You just don't want, yeah, the 10,000 line one. End-to-end -end tests are lifesaver here, but often very hard to understand why bro. Such is refactor life. Also, Grug noticed that introducing too much abstraction often lead to refactor failure and system failure. Good example was J2EE introduced many big brains sit around t thinking too much abstraction. Nothing good came out of uh, it. Many projects hurt. Oh, love it. Another good example when company Grug work at for introduce OSGI to help manage manage trap spirit. Uh oh, spirit spelled wrong. Spirit complexity demon in code base. Not only OSGI not help, but make complexity demon much more powerful. Took multiple man year of best developers to rework as well to boot. More complex spirit and n now features impossible implement. Very bad. Agreed. Very, very, very much so agree. All of this is just beautiful. Uh, the refactoring is super hard. Refactoring is super, super hard. I've yet to find really great rules of thumb for good refactors. Um, uh, Really small refactors, obviously very, very simple. A defined API and refactoring the spirit demon behind the API feels really, really good. Um, I like that. Those seem to be those seem to be the easiest refactors to get right. Uh, I think when you have a really good API, refactors are easier. When you have a really shitty API, refactors are really hard because almost exclusively a shitty API leads to a rewrite, not a refactor. Um, and of course, abstraction's crazy, right? Abstraction, abstractions just make everything harder, like dramatically harder. Because then, you know, abstractions are supposed to make an operation easier, right? They're supposed to allow for more sway. But often what I find is abstractions don't allow for more sway. They actually make everything more narrow and it becomes way harder to refactor. Dislike hard i hate black box coding i'm not sure what black box coding is one layer of abstraction abstraction class uh plus sons are okay more don't know when you say abstraction class if you mean like interface i'm in on the interfacing i like interfaces they're good uh if rx is leaky abstraction then uh is promise one two yeah promise is one two but promise also has syntax and that's where the different, I think that's where the big difference lies, is that, uh, that promises are fairly one-dimensional operations. They're more like a catamorphic operation, right? It's more like an iterator operation. You're kind of pulling out a value. And so it just feels different in the sense that I'm not sure exactly how to word it. I haven't read, I haven't read good architecture on it, or I haven't read the right terms to say here. So I sound stupid. I sound grug. But... 
going okay einstein shut up it's the right i believe it's the right term but it's going from it's going from effectively a monad right a promise is just a monad of some sort into the underlying value i find that's okay arcjs on the other hand isn't that arcjs is actually a stream of things right it's a, it's a completely different thing it changes a lot of stuff just a monad you can monad these nuts i think that works uh you can catamorphic these nuts <laughs> uh got them uh promises should have been monads yeah i see you thank you yeah 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 uh, mo these nuts nads what mo these nads all right anyways hey i by the way i just so everybody knows i've tried turning off all ads as much as possible on twitch hopefully you enjoy it um i'm trying to just shut it down right now the name oh i forgot to say that you're right the name is i'm not running ads or at least not trying to but twitch also forces you to run ads and 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 it's very difficult and you really tried not to a gen <laughs>